Hi everybody, um, back over here where my little setup is for my little shoe display. Um, this video is really to Noxie Baby. She posted a comment on my page asking what I thought good cross trainer or running shoes would be. And um, by no means am I an expert. Um, I'm only um, giving uh, my thoughts and experience with buying um, footwear. Um, and I guess this came from all the pictures of my workout gear that um, I wear to the gym. Um, just a little history on that. I just find out for me, from my mental game, that if you feel good about the clothes you're working out in, then you work out better. And um, listen, I'm balling on a budget with those clothes. Um, some of them are from Walmart. Some are from Target. They're, they're not... You know, nothing costs more than um, $20 of everything that I got on bra included, workout bra included. Um, I, uh, you know, now that I don't really need the really, like, plus size stuff, you can get away with some things in, in other stores. And um, I, trust me, I am not spending a whole lot of money um, on that stuff. Um I also wanted to say in my last video that um, I posted when I was over there cutting up the watermelon, which by the way came out good. I know it looked like I was butchering that thing up, um, but it came out all right. Um, I should show y'all, but I don't feel like going over there. Um, and excuse the pajamas, but just, you know, finished working out and everything, took the shower and stuff. So, um, but I wanted to say that in the last video I posted, um, you know, I put the numbers down the bottom, and I just realized I was so focused on getting to 175, which is my surgeon's goal um, for me when I go back to see him in August. So I got two months, three months to go before I even see him, um, that I didn't realize that I've actually hit the 100-pound mark since surgery. So really happy about that, and, um, you know... Um, hey, I, I'm just taking it in stride and stuff, so just wanted to reiterate that, that I am finally at the century mark for my surgery weight. Um, all together total, I've lost in nine and a half months, 118 pounds, and i um, very, very happy about that. All right, just wanted to throw that out there. Okay. Um, let me see, make sure y'all can't hear this TV. Hold on, let me go get the remote to turn it down. Hold on a second. Okay. Mm, Y'all saw my ugly pajamas I got on. These actually used to be clothes that I wore out in the street because that's all I could wear. Um, so, anyway, okay. So, let me see if I can move this down a little bit. You look like y'all are looking at everything. Okay. So, in my experience with shoes, um, I have found that your footwear is as important as the bra you're wearing when you work out or... Um, you know, the the key that goes in the ignition when you're driving, it's very important because your footwear supports everything. All of your body, your impact, and everything. So it's very important to have good footwear. I do ball in a budget with the clothes, but I do not mess around my footwear. So let's start at the beginning with it. I have seen people um, in the gym. Well, let me start here. Excuse me. Um... Uh, you should probably first evaluate what kind of gait that you have when you walk. Um, you should also buy, let me start even further back and say, if this is your first time buying some real athletic shoes, you go to an athletic store. People who have history of or, or have knowledge of the kind of footwear that you're buying. So, um, so that would be like Foot Locker or... Um, Sports Authority or Dick Sporting Goods or somewhere where there's actually someone there that can give you information about the shoe or there's a good old internet um, that that has good um, information about the kind of shoe you need based on your gait. Um, there are two ways, well three ways that people walk. Some, some people actually walk, you know, evenly on the inside and the outside of their foot. I don't know anybody who does, but I'm sure there, that is a gait. Um, there are people who walk 
solely on their toes. Um, my goddaughter is like that, actually. She walks, you know, tears the tip of her shoes up. Um, so I guess there's four ways people walk. Um, there are people who walk on the inside of their foot. They, they are called pronators. Um, and you'll see, like, the back of their shoes, like the heel, will be worn down on the inside. And then there are people who supinate. Um, I am one of them. I am someone who walks on the outside of my shoe. So um, for me, for people who pronate, pronate and supinate, you need shoes that are stability shoes, which is going to help kind of even out um, things. They actually have shoes. I haven't seen shoes that are better for supinators, um, but I have seen shoes that help with overpronators, people that really go in, that kind of take that pressure off of the inside of their foot and kind of even things out when they're working out. And this is for walking, running, if you're in the gym, whatever. Um, this information goes for all kinds of workouts. So, and again, I'm not an expert. This is just with my experience with buying shoes and with my being um, very much intense with working out at this point in my life. Um, so, I have seen people in the gym where I go wear these. These are Skechers, okay? I wear these um, with jeans. Um, I do not wear them to work out in. They're good for walking, but not even really long distance walking. I wear them to work. Um, they are a decent shoe, but it's a casual like sneaker. Um, it is not an athletic sneaker, and you want athletic gear. Um, it offers no support for your ankle. See, it's really low here. No support for your ankle. And um, it is a leather shoe. But there's no kind of um, traction for, or I should say, um, absorption of shock. Shock absorption for your heel, for the impact when you're jumping up and down. There's nothing here. There's this rubber sole, and then there's the ball of the shoe here. So there's nothing here. Um... So I just wear them for casual wear. You don't wear them for the gym. Um, no support at all. Now, um, when I uh, first went back to the gym, I wore these. Now, compare this heel with this heel. You can see the difference clearly. Okay? This is New Balance. New Balance is a great... Uh, shoe. Um, this is actually a cross trainer. Now, this is a very heavy shoe. And at the time when I bought these, I was just getting back into the gym. I was probably about 60 pounds heavier than I am now. And to be honest with you, I needed the support um, of a heavier shoe at the time. At least I thought I did. Um, this is what I used to have when I used to teach aerobics and stuff. And the only problem I have with these, these are great for walking. If I had to walk like in a marathon or something like that, New Balance is, is these New Balance um, ones are it. Um, but if you will notice, it is very hard to flex and bend in this one. Um, I would probably, if I was playing like tennis or something on a very hard court, um, basketball maybe even, although this isn't as high as the high tops, but you know, something on a hard court, then I would wear these. Um, because again, it's it's going to be, you know, a little bit more absorption of the harder surface. Um, I'm not doing a whole lot of jumping um, as I am in the gym, not a whole lot of running. I mean, it's just not, uh, for what I'm doing now, this shoe is just too stiff. But it is a good shoe. So, you know, if you like the, the feeling of something being really around your foot, these are a great shoe. Try these on and see what you think about them. Um, and remember, you know, go to an athletic store. Take your time. I don't even know where these are offered anymore. I got these online at 6pm.com. But again, I have some background knowledge of shoe stuff. So I don't advise that for someone who's first time buying a good athletic shoe. You need to go in, talk to somebody about a good shoe. Okay. So then I figured, you know, once I had these, you know, and I started to lose the weight anymore, the shoes started to feel too heavy for me. So I said, okay, well, I had bought these shoes. And these are actually Nike Freeze. Um, Nike makes a good running shoe. Um, but these particular shoes, 
Um, you can see definitely is a running shoe. Look at this. I can bend these babies up, out, around, whatever. Seven ounces is what this shoe is. I want to say that these are maybe 11 or 12 ounces. So, And you can really tell the difference. Um, so I said, all right, let me try these in the gym. Well, these were too light for what I do in the gym. They offered me no support for my classes, like for step class, too light. No support for my knees, no support for my ankles. These are particularly running shoes. Now, I am starting to run outside now. As y'all know, I'm preparing for my 5K. But, you know, there's been a lot of damage to these old knees. I may have a lot less weight on them, but my knees are still the same bones and stuff like that. I may be stronger, but I've done damage to my knees and stuff. So, I decided that I will only use these when I'm stuck, like, to run in the gym um, on a treadmill or on the elliptical because those are surfaces that give you know the treadmill when you run on it you know it goes up and down like this well it's not going to be as hard as the street would be which is not going to move even though these are good and flexible they don't offer as much shock and that's the key with shoes you want to get stuff that absorbs the shock um, on your joints so that you are not you know absorbing it all you know in your joints you want the shoe to, to help you out so you don't you know tear your joints up that's where the money comes in for good decent shoes these shoes right here just to give you um these are like 60 i think um these were when i bought these and these are a good shoe now they're just not good for what i do in the gym um these were i want to say about i caught them on sale at 6 p.m.com um I'm going to say I probably paid 60 for these too, somewhere around there. I, I usually don't top out any higher than maybe 70 or so for a pair of good workout shoes. But like I said, these are way flexible and I use them in the gym when I'm like running on the treadmill and stuff. So then, um, because I supinate, um, I did some research on some stuff and I found that ASICs are a really good shoe. And I am a big fan of ASICs. Um, ASICs um, makes all kinds of shoes for different gates stability um stability plus and i forgot what the other model is um but if you look them up they they definitely have a website where they explain you know what would be best for you um you need to know what kind of arch you have um you can tell if you have a high arch i mean we we all kind of know high arch or a um a uh, you know no arch or a normal arch i have a normal arch so um, my only issue with my gait is I supinate. So this shoe is called the Neo 33, Gel Neo 33. Now, why I love Asics is that this is a lightweight shoe, um, but you can see it still gives a little bit in the beginning and um, still has a lot of shock absorption in the sole. It has the gel and a good sole. And you can also see that it has a really wide forefoot, forefoot on here. Um, that helps with lateral movement, side to side. When I'm in the gym and I'm doing, you know, some side to side movements, the floor that they have in my gym is like a rubber floor, but it's not an absor absorbing kind of rubber floor. It's like a, it's it's a floor actually that absorbs moisture, um, it kind of wicks it away, but it's not as hard as the street. So um, I actually now this is a this is my first pair of gel neos. This is an extinct shoe. Um, I think I posted this out on Facebook. I actually found them and ordered two pair. I have this color and I have a gray color. Um, the reason I like these is, one, I, I say if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They do have a gel neo um, two that's out, but I didn't like the colors. So, and I like black tennis shoes or, you know, silver or gray. Um, so they have like white, which I can't stand anymore, but I might have to break down and get them when, when these run out. But these are my first pair that I got. And I got these because, um, um, well, these are the first pair I got. And now that I have a new pair, I use these to run outside because the ground is harder. And these shoes that I was using to run outside, I could tell that they weren't absorb absorbing the shock as much. So these are still good to run outside in because they're still decent shoes. I don't wear my gym shoes outside. I go into the gym in my slippers, um, like the, you know, um, like the slide-on shoes. Um, but I don't 
Um, I don't wear my gym shoes outside, but once they become old shoes, then they get worn outside and um, I could tell that they were becoming old shoes because they weren't giving me the same support. I could tell and have as much spring in my step when I would do things on the, on the, um, in my classes and I was like, okay, it's time to replace my shoe, which you should do depending on how often you work out every six to nine months. Um, I replace mine probably every every six to nine months. It just really depends. Um, this is actually a running shoe, but because I only work out for an hour and it's good stability, I can use a running shoe for um, aerobics classes where a lot of people will wear cross trainers. But now the new thing is, you know, to wear your running shoes because you get more spring. You get a little bit more help to get your vertical on and um, your legs don't feel as like they're, you know, lugging down a, a big old thing. So, um, you know, like a brick on your ankle. So it, it feels better. So these are my old ones. I have a new pair that looks just like this. They're in my gym bag that I use. Never wear them outside, but these are now my, my training shoes for my 5K. So um, I hope that Noxy Baby enjoyed this little update. Remember, I'm not an expert. I will tell you, though, that if you are unclear on what kind of shoe you should buy, you should go into an athletic store and tell them what kind of activity you'll be doing. Try the shoe on. Um, don't buy things based on how they look. Based on, ba um, buy them based on what you need. Um, our joints and stuff, you know, we're, we're getting older every day, and you want to last in the game as long as you can. So you want to get good footwear. All right, this is like 17 minutes long. Um, I thank you all for watching. I hope this was informational. And as always, I end my videos with stay healthy. See ya.